Okay, we're working in intermediate algebra. This is section 3.2. Starts on page 101 of your book, if you're trying to follow along. Today we're going to do adding and subtracting polynomials. So let's start with example 1 on page 101. It says add the polynomial. So that's negative 4, y to the 7, minus y cubed plus 7y squared, which is a trinomial based on the fact that it has three terms, plus 2y to the 7, plus 3y cubed, plus 10y squared, another trinomial. All right, how do we add polynomials? Addition happens when there's a plus sign between two polynomials. Uh, really, you can drop the parentheses and combine like terms. That's all you're going to do is just combine like terms. So the first thing we're going to do is identify the terms with the highest degree and that would be this y7 and this y7 they are like terms so those terms are going to get added together let's mark them here with red when I add them um, just a quick review to add like terms you just add the coefficients negative 4 plus 2 makes negative 2 and the variable and exponent stay the same so that's those two terms added together the terms with the next highest degree would be y cubes so negative 1y cubed plus 3y cubed. When you add negative 1 plus 3, you get 2. So this would be positive 2y cubed. And that adds those together. Um, these last two terms, 7y squared and 10y squared, also like terms. When you add them together, positive 7, positive 10, give you positive 17 y squared. And that is how you add polynomials. So let's go to example two. Add the polynomials. So we have 2m to the fifth n to the fourth plus 3m cubed n squared plus negative 7 m to the fifth n to the fourth minus 11 I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit m cubed n squared all right so we're still adding we still have a plus sign here but now we have a binomial based on the fact this is two terms plus another binomial now uh, all of these variables look all alike, but these are not all like terms. To be like terms, two terms have to have the same exact variables with the same exact exponents. So this term and this term are not like terms because the exponents are different. Instead, this term and this term are like terms because they both have m5, n4, m5, n4. So we can add those two terms together just by adding the coefficients, so positive 2, plus negative 7 makes negative 5 and the variables stay the same m5 and 4 and that takes care of adding those are the other two terms like terms this one has m cubed n squared and this one also has m cubed n squared when we add them we have positive 3 plus negative 11 makes negative 8 so it'd be negative 8 m cubed n squared and those are added now All right, at the top of page 102, we have example three, which is asking us to add these two trinomials together. 1 6 s cubed plus 1 half s plus 7 plus 1 third s cubed plus 5 halves s plus 2 fifths. And I know right now you guys are freaking out because of all of these fractions, but it's okay. You can do this. First of all, like terms. These terms are both s cubed, so we need to add the coefficients. That means we're going to have to add 1 sixth plus 1 third. So I'm going to write that like this, 1 sixth plus 1 third. And when I add those, there will be an s cubed on the end. So let's talk about adding those. They have to have a common denominator, which would be sixths. So 1 third makes 2 sixths. So when I add these together, they make 3 sixths which is one half. So this becomes one half s cubed. 
and that takes care of both those terms. Um, next, we have 1 half s plus 5 half s. So that would be 1 half plus 5 halves, and that will have an s on it. Uh, luckily, those both already have the same denominator. So we're going to add these together. 1 half plus 5 halves makes 6 halves, which reduces to be 3. So this is 3s, and that takes care of both those terms. Then we're going to add 7 plus 2 fifths. Okay, so that will be here. 7 plus 2 fifths. And since they're both positives, you can make this 7 and 2 fifths and then translate it into an improper fraction. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is 37. So this makes 37 over 5. And those two trinomials, trinomial, trinomial, those two trinomials are now added together, and this is your new trinomial down here. I kind of like to box my answers. So there we go. All right, for example four, we're now going to subtract, which is not that different from add. Um, you just have to be careful of signs. Negative four y to the seven minus y cubed plus seven y squared minus two y to the seven plus three y cubed plus 10y squared. And the first thing we notice is this is now a subtraction symbol here instead of an addition symbol. The only thing that this subtraction symbol does different is it has to get distributed to the polynomial behind it. So this needs to get distributed. So I'm going to rewrite this and distribute this, but I'm also going to drop the parentheses when I do it. So this first polynomial is not going to change. It's still going to be negative 4y to the 7 minus y cubed plus 7y squared. But when I distribute this, this is going to change these signs. When you distribute a negative, it just changes the signs. So this is now going to be negative 2y to the 7 minus 3y cubed minus 10y squared. And that's all that subtraction sign does is it changes the signs back here. And now you're just going to continue to combine like terms. So negative 4y7 and negative 2y7 make negative 6y7. And then negative y cubed, that's a negative 1. Negative 3y cubed make negative 4y cubed. And then positive 7y squared, negative 10y squared make negative 3y squared. And that's your answer now after your subtraction. All right, example five, still on page 102, is another subtract, 2m5n4 plus 3m cubed n squared minus negative 7m5n4 minus 11m3n squared. So again, with a subtraction sign here, it just changes the signs back here, and then we add or combine like terms. So this first binomial is not gonna change. We're just gonna carry it down to m5 n4 plus 3 m cubed n squared. But when I write the second binomial, this negative sign gets distributed and changes these signs. So this is now plus 7 m5 n4 plus 11 m cubed n squared. And then I combine like terms. So this 2m5n4 plus 7m5, these are like terms because they have the same variables with the same exponents. That makes 9m5n4, and that takes care of those. And then these two terms are also like terms because they both have m cubed n squared. So positive 3 plus 11 is 14m cubed n squared. And this is now subtracted. All right, example six, again, subtract 1 fifth s cubed plus 1 half s, that's not a five, that's an s, plus seven minus 1 third s cubed plus 5 halves s plus 2 thirds. The first thing we're gonna do, 
this trinomial is not going to change, but this one is going to distribute this negative, and that will change all these signs. So we're going to rewrite this. The first trinomial is not changing. 1 fifth s cubed plus 1 half s plus 7. But then when we distribute this negative sign, it's going to change all of these signs back here. So negative 1 third s cubed minus 5 halves s minus 2 thirds. And then we need to combine like terms. So these are both s cubes, so we're going to have 1 fifth minus 1 third, and that's going to be s cubed. To add those though, we're going to have to get a common denominator. The common denominator for 5 and 3 is 15. So this will be 3 fifteenths, and this will be 5 fifteenths. When we add them together, that makes 8 fifteenths s cubed. Okay, that takes care of both of those. Next we have 1 half s minus 5 halves s, and those are like terms. So we'll write those over here. 1 half minus 5 halves, and that will be an s. So when I add those, this is a positive and this is a negative, so they're going to subtract and you're going to end up with 4 halves, which reduces to make 2. So this is 2s, and that takes care of both of those. Uh, the last two terms, this 7 and this negative 2 thirds, these are like terms. So we have 7 minus 2 thirds. Um, and you can't make that 7 and 2 thirds because they have different signs. So we're going to make this 21, I sh that should be a 3, not a 7, 21 thirds, that's the same as 7, minus 2 thirds, and that makes 19 thirds. Okay, example 7 is at the top of page 103. It says find the perimeter of the rectangle. Uh, the per this is the rectangle. These two sides measure 2x plus 5. These two sides measure x plus 3. Uh, the key is do you know how to find perimeter? The perimeter is found by just adding all the sides together. So it's an addition. So we're going to add 2x plus 5 plus another 2x plus 5 plus x plus 3 plus x plus 3. That would be how you find perimeter. You could also use a perimeter formula, which is 2 times length plus 2 times width, but we haven't reviewed all that multiplication yet. Um, you get the same answer if you want to do it that way. So uh, this is all add. So we don't need to distribute anything. We can just combine like terms. So looking for the like terms, we see a 2x, a 2x, a 1x, and a 1x, and those are all like terms. When we add them together, we have 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, plus another 1 is 6. So this becomes 6x. Then these other terms, 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3, those are all like terms. When we add those together, we get 5 plus 5 is 10, 3 plus 3 is 6, 10 plus 6 is 16. So the perimeter of this rectangle comes out to be 6x plus, plus 16. Okay, example 8 is kind of a small word problem. It says, if x is the first consecutive integer, write the sum of four consecutive integers and simplify. So consecutive means they are right after each other on the number line. So if x is the first one, next to x would be x plus 1. And those would be two consecutive integers. And then after that would be x plus 2, and then x plus 3. So it doesn't matter what this number is. It might be the number 5. On the number line, next would be 6, 5 plus 1, then 7, 5 plus 2, then 8, 5 plus 3. These are consecutive integers, and it doesn't matter what the first one is. The next one is plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. So sum, if we're going to write the sum of these four consecutive integers, that means we're going to add them together. So we'll just put plus signs between them all and add them all together. Really easy. To add 
these polynomials together, we just combine like terms. So all of these x's here are like terms, and their coefficients are all 1. So this would be 1x plus another 1x plus another 1x plus another 1x. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. That would make 4x. And then all of these constants are also like terms. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So this becomes 4x plus 6. And that will be the sum of any four consecutive integers.